Welcome back to The Source. Human trafficking continues to be an issue in the Niagara region. The YWCA of Niagara is doing its part to help survivors of human trafficking. Joining us now is Executive Director Elizabeth Zimmerman. Welcome to The Source, Elizabeth. Thank you, it's nice to be here. So tell us about the home to new beginnings that you opened this summer. It's a home to help survivors of human trafficking. How did that go this summer? So we just opened, yeah, basically early fall, late summer, and it's been, yeah, it's been going well. It's, you know, it's a new project for us. And we have, you know, we identified this need a while back to that there was a need to have um, some kind of ongoing supportive housing program for young women who are, um, you know, have been victims of trafficking. And uh, so, you know, it's been, it's, as I said, it's a new program for us, but um, certainly those who have been participating in the program, it's been very well received. And um, I think that, you know, as we move along, you know, with this program, we'll see the significant impacts that it's going to make for these, for the participants in the program. What is the intake process like? similar to our other programs in that, you know, you're uh, as a, as someone who wants to come into the program, you're identifying that this is your experience. And then it's really just kind of a, a regular intake in terms of, you know, sort of that essential information that we need. You know, the biggest part of any of the programs that we offer is determining what they're hoping to be able to accomplish while they're in the program and help them connect with the community resources that they need. Um, you know, all, all those kinds of pieces that would be part of our regular programming for any of the housing programs that we offer. I understand that when you did open, you didn't expect the kind of response to it and how many people were trying to find space in the home. Yeah, I think, you know, part of it is that we um, certainly thought, you know, it's, it's when, when we're, when you're opening a program, you're basing it on what you're, you know, what you've uh, been able to establish as far as community need is concerned. And we knew the need was there and we knew that it was a high need. Um, and uh, so, you know, we were really encouraged by the quick response and, and the, you know, the number of, um, of people asking to get in, we're working with community partners and, uh, you know, they they were anxious to see this program start as well, uh, because we we knew as a community that the, the need was there. And so, uh, you know, I think as time goes on, my concern is that you know, will it be enough, or or are we going to need to do more? Why is this such an issue in the Niagara region? Is it part of our location near the border, our location between Toronto and Buffalo? What is the exact reason? Can we nail that down? I think it's it's what exactly what you talked about. It's you know that we're, uh, you know, primarily a tourist economy. That there's you know tourism can attract um, trafficking. Uh, it's not a, just a Niagara problem. It is a whole uh, sort of circuit that runs between um, you know the Golden Horseshoe and that we are part of. I think there's a number of factors that are involved in why why Niagara ten, you know, is one of the hotbeds. But I think too that, uh, you know, we ha are, a, as I said, a tourist economy and, uh, you know, it can uh, be challenging. The employment in, in Niagara have sometimes, has gone through periods of time as we are right now that are challenging. And uh, so you know, these, are, these are all the conditions that can impact the, this, uh, this kind of issue within the community. Elizabeth, if someone wanted to donate to the Home to New Beginnings, how would they go about doing so? Yes, that, I mean, certainly we would appreciate any kind of supports for this program, and they can do that through the YWCA uh, website. There is a portal in the, on the website for donations, and you can specify um, to be able to donate directly to this program.